And now an illustration of how we are on your side is new at 11. We are uncovering more information about a scam. It's about getting money for pretending to get people out of their warrants. The key word here is pretend. Tending your size, Jason Marks is in the newsroom now, and you talk with someone who knew better than to become a victim. And Tom, she said the man who called was so believable. She said it's easy to understand how anyone could become a victim. When the phone rang last week in Hampton, Julie Wright let her mom get it. My mom was a talker now. But as Wright listened to the conversation, something seemed very wrong. I could hear that she was getting kind of flustered because they were asking her something and telling her that she had missed jury duty. The voice on the other end claimed he was law enforcement. Major professional. And said Wright's 79 year old mother now had two warrants out for her arrest. She was so upset she handed the phone to her daughter. I mean he had like the warrant numbers and everything. The man then told Wright he could get her mom out of this pickle. All they had to do was pay a thousand dollars per warrant put the money on a green dot prepaid visa card. But the longer the conversation went on, the more skeptical Wright became. Yeah, I knew it was definitely a scam. Wright knew better. Police are not going to ask you for money. But not everyone is so lucky. It would be easy, very easy for them to fall. Predators, that's what they are. Hampton Police Detective Brant Hess says a 75-year-old man didn't realize his phone call was a scam. The senior citizen withdrew a large amount of money and gave it to the scam artist. If you miss jury duty, uh, what will happen is, is the courts will actually send you notice that you missed it through the mail. Um, it's called the show cause. It's not even an arrest warrant. It's just saying you need to come to court telling us the reason why you missed court. Hess believes there are more victims out there, people who are just too embarrassed to step forward, a thought that breaks right heart. I just hate to see, I hate to see anybody, you know, have to do that. So and go through that. And because of that embarrassment factor, police really do believe there are other victims who are out there. Now, Detective Hess says, even if you get a call and you don't become a victim, he still wants you to give police a call because every piece of information is useful in helping to solve the crime. In the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side. And police say if you are contacted by anyone demanding money, stop the conversation and try to get information from that caller, things such as, who are they? What company they represent? What is their address? Also, police say never give out personal information over the phone.